fish? Bunch of fish. Yeah? Yeah. Big one. Guapo. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yee yeah, yeah. Dude, he just hit it and started running to, oh. <gasps> Ate it twice, that's a good fish. That's a, that's a drag. That right there, so happy. Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see, this is a long one, so I'm not gonna take up too much time standing here talking in the garage. I'm just gonna let you guys know that I caught the biggest fish that I have caught in a really long time out here on the home lake, and I cannot wait to share this video with you guys. There's some really interesting stuff that goes down. Aside from that, you're gonna see some interactions with some old schoolers at the marina, some interactions with some other cats down there, some docs that were trying to get me to bring them the fish that I was catching so that they could eat it. In addition to the full-blown dragon alert that's gonna go down, we're gonna catch like 30 plus fish in this video. It's an absolute smack down, nonstop, hook set, fish catching action. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Really quick, if you're watching right now and you are not already subscribed to the channel, just click that subscribe button. We just hit 50,000 and I'm so stoked to have so many new people riding along with us here on the channel. So shout outs to all the new people on board. But without further delay, let's just go ahead and rip off and catch a whole bunch of fish, including but not limited to one massive dragon this was such a good time i can't wait to share it with you guys let's go fishing mini plopper hit her to start the day i saw him burn out off the bank to smoke this little 90 throwing a little spritzer to start out see if i get on top water bite there's the first one of the day he just a mini eat not what i'm after there we go that one hit it on the surface of the water Scooped it. It's a quad. That explains it. Fired up, huh, buddy? Nice quad. Fish number two. That one came on that little mini max with the baby whale again. This one right there. It's a little better. Digger. Yeah, that's nice. That's more like it. That's more like it right there, boy. That's a little chunky one. God dang, chunky boy, let me get you. Heck yeah, dude. That's a nicer fish right there. Smoked it up shallow, decent. Decent, number three on the day. Spot number one, not a bad way to kick it off. As you can see, I got 86 rods on deck, but it might just turn into another Chatterbait Mini Max day. That one nuked my whale. Beep, beep. Nuked the whales. Yeah, my plan was to come out here and throw some different baits, see if we get on a different bite, but you know the deal. Five fish makes a video, we're three fish in. They're crushing this little Mini Max again, so I'll throw it for a little bit, how about that? This is spot number one. We're three fish in. Let's keep it rolling. So what you guys can't see is there's a big creek arm that comes in right here into this little cut. Comes off the main channel. It's a pretty significant creek arm. And these fish like to push up into it and use it as an ambush point. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro, but there's just a massive school of bait right out here in front of the boat. Just tinkling and twinkling along the surface. Yep, there is a lot of bait right here, boys. This spot is loaded with grass. Oh! There's a stump. All right, I gotta get around this. They're not over here on this flat. They're gonna be around rocks. This is just all mud and grass, and they're just not here. Hey, the plan today is turn and burn, cover water. I'm not gonna spend too much time on any spot. There's a fish. Another nice one, too. I don't know how well he's hooked. I'm gonna have to get him in the boat. All right, number four. All right. As soon as I got up to some rock, boom. 
We're not on that flat at all, but he was up there in that pocket near these rocks. Johnny Five is alive. I think they might be on a chatterbait bite still, boys. Johnny Five just came alive. This boy is freaking hooked right in the roof of the eater. Chatterbait Mini Max with a whale stir on the back of it. Nice. Better do. Right here off the end of this chunk rock. Dude, he just hit it and started running to. Oh. Ate it twice. That's a good fish. That's a, that's a dragon. That's a dragon, boys. She came off and then came back and ate it again. That was crazy. It's a dragon. Yeah, that's a dragon. I mean a dragon. Please stay on. <laughs> Look at that. That's a, that's, a freaking, that's a freaking dragon, boys. That's a freaking dragon. <laughs> Oh my lord, that right there is a dragon. She ate it twice, up super shallow. Look how close I am to the bank. Dudes, she came off and came back and got it again. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking shaking. That's a dragon, that's a dragon boys, certified. Oh my gosh, oh man, oh man number six in the mix and it's a winner that's the biggest fish i've caught out here in a long time <sighs> absolutely absolutely beautiful guys this right here is what we come out here for she ate it twice too ate it and then came off and then ate it again dude he just hit it and started running to oh <gasps> ate it twice that's a good fish that's a, that's a drag super fun that was so much fun i'm shaking man i'm so happy blessed blessed to be able to interact with this animal let's go let's let her go dragon like i said that's the biggest fish i've caught out here in a while guys super stoked on this one all right one last look at that freaking dragon let's get her back in the water oh man that's a beautiful one right there boys that's the kind you're you're looking for Heck yeah, dudes. She's ready. <sighs> that just made my morning. Everything else from here on out is just a bonus. <sighs> Dude, I caught her right over here off the bank hooked her felt her bust loose hooked her again watched her come back and eat it too saw everything go down with the water lands on right over here off of this boulder this little mini rock that was freaking awesome dude i am amped up i mean dude that's the biggest freaking fish i've caught out here in a long time there's another one is this another I think it's another decent fish right here, guys, in the same spot. We're, we're, we're getting on a little roll here, boys. We're getting on a little bit of a roll here. That's another tank. That's another freaking tank, dude. Number seven ain't bad either. Look at that. That's an easy three. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Man, same spot, dude, same cast. How freaking cool is that? Cast over there made the same cast that caught this one. That's a decent fish. I almost couldn't believe I got bit again right there. We done found him. We done found him today. If I catch another one right here, I'm gonna do a backflip. It's been a long time since I caught a fish that caliber out here that felt good 
I felt real good. Yeah, they got this bait pushed up into this cut. That's why we didn't catch anything out there on that flat. They're all over here around the corner. Make sure I cover this spot real good. Man, freaking dragon alert. Certified. Your boy is happy. Best believe I'm about to fish these rocks real good. Called it on the rocks too. As soon as I got around, back around some rocks, away from the mud, boom. Freaking mini max still, still hammering them. Been a few days, man. I thought the bite might have changed since that last video, but big nope. They're still on it. That big one ate it twice. Hooked her. I mean, I full yeeted a hook set into her that first time too. And then I watched her just follow it and eat it right before my eyes. I witnessed it. Put me on the stand. I saw it all. This chatterbait baby whale combination is deadly. In the 7.5 medium moderate heater series. Showing them who's the boss, dude. Being able to crack a hook set into a fish that big with a medium power rod. That's the power of the almighty heater series right there, man. I've caught some of my biggest fish with the heater series on the 6.9 and the 7.5. A lot of times when they eat this chatterbait, they just grab it and start running towards you. That's what happened, man. That fish was blasting straight towards the boat, cracked the hook set, she came loose, and then came back and said, uh-uh, I'm eating it again. Oh my God, that was awesome. There we go. Three times. That fish hit it three times. Just a little dumb one. Number eight, it's a guad, that explains it. Dude, he hit it three freaking times. They are on this thing and refusing to let it go. I missed him twice, and then he came back and hit it again. Number eight, eight is great. Whew. What an awesome morning, man. I'm glad I came out. I am glad I came out, and I'm glad I started over here. Started to run the other way. When I left the boat ramp, I started to run the other way. Instinct, dude. Follow that instinct, man. If you have a gut feeling, it tells you you should go try something really quick, listen to it and go try it really quick because, man, it just paid off for me. I fished this spot the other day and it was absolutely dead. Could not get bit over here. And I was just thinking, man, I know that creek channel runs over there. So I went over there, caught those couple little ones, and then I saw all the bait over there on that flat didn't get bit there but i was like man there's so much bait in this area i better get back over here around some rock where i was getting the the, the bites earlier man it just freaking worked out man i just i just ran through it all in my head i'm always trying to put the puzzle together you know figure out what these fish are, are doing what they're relating to rock and the bait i mean it seems obvious you know obviously they're gonna follow the bait, but there was bait everywhere on that flat around that grass and I could not get bit. As soon as I got back around some chunk rock, it's been on. Piecing the puzzle together. Jigsaw, let's get it. That little guad ate it three times. That one ate it as soon as it touched the water. It's another decent one. Is this number nine? I mean, right off the bank, he smoked it. Didn't even have a chance to start reeling. He just gulped it. Hit it like a top water. Yep, number nine, not a bad one either. Nine is divine. Right there in between those two boulders. Crushed it. Almost ripped the rod out of my hand. This little guy not jacking around. Is it a guad? Yep. Pretty fish. I knew as soon as he hit it, the way he crushed that thing had to be a guad. Beautiful animal. Later, buddy. Yeah, those guads do not mess around. When they eat something, they kill it first. Is that number 10 for the win? Was that number 10 for the win right there? 11.
another guad up shallow. Guads are off in here. Oh, look at him. He's got a freaking bluegill in his mouth. There, he just spit it out. And it looks just like this chatterbait, too. I'm going to show you guys this bluegill after I get this fish unhooked. It's freaking stuck like Chuck. So there's the fish. Later, buddy. Oh, look at this. This is what he spit up. Yeah. It's as good as it gets right there. Little bluegill. Yeah, the bluegill were all born this summer. So they're just now getting to that perfect little munching size for all these bass. And this little mini max is the perfect imitator as you just saw. Caught 11 fish so far, been fishing for under an hour. That's a good morning. That's a good bite right there. It's well. Again, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. I thought I was snagged on a rock. Not a bad one either. Not a bad one either. Not a bad fish. Later, buddy. They are eating it fast as soon as they see it. Just murking, absolutely murking. We don't found a pocket holding fish, boys. Little bitty guy. Just felt it get mushy. 12 and a half, it was almost number 13. Just a little bitty fish. Just felt the bait get mushy. Didn't even feel a bite. A lot of times that's how the chatterbait bite is. You'll just feel it stop running or you'll feel it kind of mush up. And uh, it's a different bite. It's a different bite. You gotta be in tune with that bait or you'll miss fish because it doesn't feel like a swim jig bite. You'd think it would because it's so similar. It's not the same as a swim jig bite. Chatterbait bite, totally different. Yeah, a lot of times it's just vibing and then all of a sudden you ain't vibing no more. And like, hey, what, who killed my vibe? It was a hook. I mean, it was a fish, not a hook. It was a, it was a fish, crack a hook set. That's what I'm, that's what my brain's trying to say. If you feel and kill your vibe, dude, you might be, you might be on one. That's what just happened with that little guy. He killed my vibe. Still missed him. That's okay. He was a mini yeet. Peter Dinklage. We're after those dragons, boys. Oh, he ate it again. Look at him. Another, another mini yeet and the same thing, dude. He just, I don't know. My bait just stopped running. 13 official. Let's replace this whale. They done chewed it up. Good problems to have, boys. I'm gonna need some more baby whales. That's what I know. That's what I know. There's one, ate it out there in open water. Yes, number 14. Gonna break my rod on the side of the boat. He just kicked on the jets, got superpowers all of a sudden. Thought he was done. It's another decent one. Out there in open water by these sticks. Fired up fish too, he needs to eat, but that's a pretty fish. He's got nice coloring on him. Looks kind of blue right here along his back. I love it when they have that, that blue mixed in with that emerald green. Freaking beautiful fish, man. Later, buddy. Out here in open water, again, with the water lands. Watched him chase it up and eat it. Polarized lenses, dudes. Don't sleep on good sunglasses. Waterlandco.com, JR15 for 15% off. Secure the heaters, save the bread. Let's keep fishing, dudes. Dang, that Mastercraft looks sick. That's my kind of colors right there. I don't, you know I don't care for the wake boats, but they did that one right. That highlighter yellow with that turquoise and blue, that's sick, dude. I'd buy a bass boat if it looked like that. Somebody make a bass boat in that color. I'll buy it. Yes, sir, I've caught 13. Been fishing for about an hour. 
Yes, sir. I caught a couple really good ones and one giant one. Really? Yes, sir. So yeah, it's been a good morning. I haven't been doing any good around the marinas though. I'm, I'm not gonna spend too much time right here. But yeah, I've, I hammered a real good one earlier. You got yourself a skeeter, huh? It's been sitting in my backyard for two years. Uh oh. It'll still run. What year? Two oh four. Okay. Yeah, I had a I had a ten before this one. They're good boats, man. Yeah, I don't know why. I just haven't been doing any good around the marinas lately. They're all on the bank. They're all right on the bank chasing that bait. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good time of year to be fishing right now, man. I need to retire and do that. Yeah, the, the lake level, you know, it's so low, it's got it, it's got it all different. It's this as dingy as it's been since I've lived here. Yeah, normally when I walk down the catwalk. It's, it's crystal clear, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go way down towards the dam to, to get that uh that clear water now. There was one. Yeah, you gotta you gotta go pretty far down the lake to uh find that clear water now, but it's been all right. A little easier to fool them. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Thank you, sir. It's good chatting with you. Have a good one. That would have been number 14. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, we got a floater. Catfish. No, that's a bass. Look like a catfish. He's so bloated. Hmm. Dead largemouth. That's no bueno. There was one. There he is. Made it twice. Chest camera died. That's okay. Shout outs to the dash cam. I always have two cameras running. Number 14. He is freaking hooked funny. There we go. Number 14. Let's get these batteries changed in. Keep grinding. Shoot, 14 fish makes a video, boys. Man, what a good time. What just, it's just a lovely day. Still early, dude. Only been fishing for a little over an hour. Cracking them. Mini Max a million. Freaking star of the show the past two videos. I ain't mad at it. Sorry, guys, for the lack of a bait change. But uh, it's the way she goes, boys, especially when you're catching dragons on chatterbait. I mean, it's fun. You know, it's just fun to do. Still think pockets are going to be the deal. It's the main lake. Just not getting bit on the main lake, man. They're in the coves. The ones I'm after are anyway. Fifteen fish makes a video. Chill out there, Beavis. There was one out here shallow on the main lake, but not what we're after. Number 16 out here on a bite today, boys. All right. Let's go find us another pocket. What's up, buddy? He hit it the first time. I missed him. He got it that second cast up in there. It's a little guad. Look at it. Chunky guad, short but thick. Getting low on whales here, boys. We got two left. Couldn't catch up to that one. Oh, he ate it twice. Look at that. Watched him come back up and grab it again. Pulled him halfway to the boat. He came off. He said, No, nah, I really do want to eat it and get caught. 
Welcome to the atmosphere, brother. This is the air realm. I just yeeted you into another dimension. Alien abduction. Quad squad. Shout out to the quad and the people who think they're spotted bass or smallmouth bass or whatever y'all think they are. Any, anything but what I say they are. That's what the internet says. I'm done arguing with you. Y'all can call them whatever you want. They're quads. Another guad, pretty fish. State fish of Texas. Shout out to the Lone Star State. Best bass fishing in the world, if you ask me. Argue in the comments. I know y'all about to. Oh, but what about Mexico? B -b 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 -b. I don't live in Mexico. Call me biased, but Texas is where it's at, boys. We got, we done got on a couple 20 fish today. He was just swimming with it, this one was just swimming with it it just felt funny no bite he just picked it up and started moving just a little cruiser hey there cruiser how's it going guy a little largey nothing major they're still fun yeah like i was talking about earlier if you feel that chatterbait like stop running and start doing something i don't know funny if it starts doing something funny consider cracking a hook set because that dude just all of a sudden the blade just stopped vibrating and then he was just swimming with it. No bite, no thump, no tug, none of that, dude. It was just like, felt like I was going through mud. Swung fish. It took me a while to learn that. I really figured that out uh, down at Choke Canyon with Teacock. It, it, those fish would come out of the grass mats and just suck it in and it would just be gone. And a lot of times the water was clear enough to where you could see them do it. And that let me know that I was you know getting bit but the way it felt it really clicked in my head on that trip that a chatterbait bite is just a little bit different you really got to be in tune with the way that bait is running and as soon as it does something weird crack the hook set and catch a fish again didn't even feel the bite all of a sudden my bait was just gone dude that fish hit it so fast. Again, no bite, just a strange movement in the bait. Swing fish on. Decent fish on. Later, buddy. Pulled up here and got bit. Kind of had to bebop around to find a spot to fish, man. Last spot, there was a dude running a jackhammer, just beating on the live sto stone, just guy, 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 guy. Absolutely mind-numbingly annoying. Oh, that's a better one. Right there off the point, no bite, my bait just disappeared. Sweet. Freaking inhaled it too. Oh, his teeth are sharp. Yeah. Right there off the point. Just inhaled it. Awesome. Later, buddy. How y'all doing? How you doing? Good. Got a fish? Bunch of fish. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they're eating. How many inches? How many inches? Yeah. The big one. Guapo. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Bunch bunch of little ones, but some big ones too. Yeah. I need it for me for the eat. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. They're in there. Okay. You catching any? No, not right now. Not yet?
not bad. Missed him on that first cast. He ate it twice. Freaking tank. <laughs> These uh, guys over here work and they want me to give them the fish. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna, not gonna happen. Another one. There we go. Figure it out. There she goes. <laughs> Took her a second. Hey, those guys over there want me to give them the fish so they can eat it. Nah. If you catch one, you can eat it. Well, they're still biting this dang Mini Max, man. Not as hot and heavy as it was this morning, but we're still getting on some fish. Little guad. I don't know how many dang fish that is, but we caught a lot today, boys. We caught our fair share today. They're in here. Got off to the back of this pocket. Started getting bit. Three in a row. That's a quad. That's a nice quad. Heck yeah, dude. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Later, buddy. Tell me that's two casts in a row right there. Yes, dude. I'm freaking cracking them back here in this little pocket. They are off in here. Another guad. But that's going on like 30 fish today. I mean, this is the best day I've had in a while. And I've had some dang good days lately, dudes. I mean, I've had some good days lately. This right here takes the cake. All right, and there that was, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like 30 something hook sets, I don't know. I lost count of those fish, and I had an absolute blast out there. That that dragon, fish number six, I believe it was. Absolute monstro, man. That was awesome. On the little chatter booger, on the little chatter cricket, man. Can you believe it's such a good time there on those small bait fish up on the banks? fall time it's such a fun time to be out there on the water it's not hot it's nice and cool the fish are chasing bait you can throw moving baits and get on a reaction bite too much fun man stupid numbers and big fish included i hope you guys enjoyed it once again if you're watching this right now and you're not already subscribed to this channel just click that subscribe button kick those notification bells on set those notifications to all and you will catch all my future uploads if you want to check out that rod that i was using to throw that bait the 75 medium moderate heater series my favorite chatterbait mini max rod or if you want to get a look at the baby whale the whale 3.0 or maybe you want something a little bigger the whale 3.5 or if you want to check out the original the big daddy whale 4.5 check out sixcentsfishing.com and use my code jr10 at checkout that's going to save you 10 percent off everything on the website it's also going to go towards helping us continue to bring you free fishing content here on youtube so if you like the video and you're in the market for a new fishing rod or some of the best fishing tackle in the game sixcentsfishing.com jr10 for the win secure the heater save the bread shout out to the jr10 army I want to give you guys a heads up really quick in the next video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. These are all of the new Flat Finesse F4 crankbait colors. There's some insane newly released colors in this box, and I'm going to be cracking into this on camera here. We're going to take a look at these bad boys up close and personal, so make sure you stick around for that if you're interested. Big shout outs and thank you to the Heater Army. At the very end of this video, you're going to see a list of names. Scroll up the screen. Those are all Heater Army members, and if you're interested in having your name at the end of every video and you want to become a part of the all almighty heater army link down below in the description to learn more about that but that's about all i got for you today man that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now but i will see you on the next one